hi guys so in this video I really wanted to talk about um, something that I developed during my pregnancy um, and I I didn't do it while I was pregnant because I just wanted to get through the process so I just this is just more of an informative videos for or to share my experience with this one thing for persons that might be experiencing it or for persons that want just want to be aware or to just to see what other persons went through while they had it while being pregnant so basically i'm going to be talking about gestational diabetes i developed gestational diabetes while being pregnant and gestational diabetes is not making enough insulin or I developed it about i think it was in my second trimester that i developed it when i went glu glucose testing often realizing that you have gestational diabetes you will you go first initially i went for a one hour glucose test so they say that I was too close, I didn't pass it. So I had to go back for a three hour glucose test. On the first glucose, glucose test, basically what they do, they give you the drink, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a drink, sweet drink. They give you the drink, you wait for an hour, and then you do the test. You do like blood work on the, for the one hour glucose test. On the third, when, you, when, when I failed it and I had to go back for the three hour glucose test, I had to do, I had to drink, um, four bottles of the one of the one bottle that I drank for the one hour so I drank one at the start of the hour and then every hour I had to drink drink another bottle so I actually drank four bottles every three hours and at the beginning so uh basically the three hours group Google says once I did that one I did I did urine and I did blood for the three hour glucose test I also failed that one so that's when they diagnosed or concluded that I had gestational diabetes so upon concluding that I have gestational diabetes my GYN had to put me on um, I had to go to the hospital for regular um, checkup for just to monitor my glucose levels and to monitor the baby to make sure that the baby is not growing too fast when you have gestational diabetes, the stuff that they look for in the baby is the shoulders getting big and the baby putting on excess weight before the baby reaches full term. So um, I was going in for regular checks and um, I had to send my blood sugar in. I had to send like, I had to get a whole machine, I had to get a whole kit, I had to do my, my check my, I had to stick my fingers four times per day before first thing in the morning when I wake up before I eat anything and three and three times after three times and an additional three times two hours after breakfast two hours after lunch two hours after dinner <clears throat> and first thing in the morning before I wake up before I put anything in my mouth so I had to stick myself and I had to test my sugar my sugar levels so my sugar levels could not be above 120 at any given time after meals and um before for your fasting which is the one in the morning it could not be like below 50 like it has to be like at at a average amount so i had to do that and um what else what else what else i had to change my diet gestational diabetes if you do not monitor your diet if you're not able to have a diet controlled your diet controlled then they will recommend or they will put you on um insulin so I wasn't about that life, not having it. So I say, okay, changing my diet, what could go wrong? So basically what I did, like I started to monitor my intake, not too much carbohydrates, not too much sweet. Uh, and I started to eat a little bit more vegetables, um, more greens, um, less, less of too much Jamaican st stuff because stuff that I had to um, reduce was like, for example, rice. I stopped eating white rice to a, a, a extent, and I went to parboiled. They recommend brown, but I went to parboiled. Of course, the hospital give you a whole diet sheet of what you can eat and what you cannot eat. But I, I initially I was getting a little bit frightened of by it, but then eventually I just started to monitor my intake on what I would eat on a daily basis. So after. Even though I changed the parboil, sometimes I do I did have white. When I do have white, I try just to eat small portions. And when I say small portions, I mean small portions. Even fruits. I couldn't have a lot of fruits. Like if I had a banana, I had to eat eat like half of the banana. Watermelon. Way too sweet. I had to eat like a little slice of watermelon. 
carrots that's too sweet so can't have carrots there are certain just certain stuff that i could not eat because once the sugar is too much sugar and carbohydrate it will increase the sugar so i could not um broccoli stuff like those i found myself loving broccoli during this time because i'm i was never someone that loved broccoli and i actually loved 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 it during this time so i'd grown to love it and i prepared it and i like it so yes i became a lover of broccoli um they're just stuff that once there's too much sugar and too much carbohydrate you just have to i basically just monitor the intake like if i wanted something and i know it's high in sugar or carbohydrates i just had a small amount sometimes i'm not gonna lie i was I, I was craving chocolate and i went in and i just go for my chocolate and i had it but then once you when you know that you have eaten something and that it's that one particular thing that you ate that caused your sugar to go up then you can monitor it but i try not to do it too much but hey me could have just not give him no sweets him have to get a mixture of everything so yeah um I, i'm grateful that i actually went through it without getting insulin i, I mine was that controlled and i monitored it to the t there are times when it went sky high but i knew what 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 was a cause and i had to send these i had to send my shit my my stick my finger sticks results in every evening at the end of every day to the hospital so they could also monitor me to know that i'm okay and um whenever i would go over 120 they i, I would have to tell them why i went over 120 what i ate so you know it was monitored and it was good he was not he was not big he was a uh normal size baby when he came out and yeah that i'm grateful so if you are someone who's pregnant and you have gestational diabetes this is i don't know this is how i monitored mine this is how i dealt with mine so you too can also monitor it don't make let it reach to the point where you have to get insulin because that's not i that's not i don't i wouldn't like it and i wouldn't like it for anyone so just be careful, just monitor what you eat. If you think you have to go crazy on carbohydrates and sugar, have a small amount, have it in small portions and do it at least after you've taken your, after you've stick yourself, after your two hours. At so if you think you need to have um, carb, if you think you need to have something sweet or carbohydrates, whatever, do it after you've taken your finger stick. So at least your body will get time to process it and to break it down. I forgot to mention that, um, just in her diabetes is something that once it's diet once it's controlled it will go away after pregnancy and not be transferred over to your unborn child and so he will not be born with it and you will not continue to have it once it's controlled so gestational diabetes it can be controlled it can be dealt with guys so basically that's what i did and um i'm thankful and I mean pregnancy is something that you can get it, it brings stuff on from all angles you don't know you just got to be careful during your whole process and um enjoy your journey and it will be over soon so that's what i did with gestational diabetes so for moms or for anyone who is interested in this i hope this was it was this was helpful to you uh and if you have questions feel free ask them below i'm open to answer any amount of questions for so watching guys and I hope this was helpful.